Okay, so this is going to be the video demonstration of my macrame dog lead kit and you can use this either by yourself or alongside the written instructions that are also in your kit. Yeah, let's get going. Okay, so this lead is going to be about 1.2 meters in length, including the handle. So you're gonna take the paper tape measure that was in your kit. And if you wanna make the same length lead as me, we're going to measure two nine meter lengths. So this is a hundred centimeter tape measure, so a meter length. So basically nine of these paper tape measures. Okay, so I have cut two long nine meter pieces. So both of these are nine meters long. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're gonna pop them onto our lobster class. This is a heavy duty one. I've been using the lead that I made a couple of months ago and I've had absolutely no issues with it, even with strong pulley dog. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take one of our nine meter sections and I'm going to measure 150 centimeters. This is going to be the whole length of our lead including all of the handle. So it'll be all the way up the lead and then we'll have the handle on the end. Obviously this is just a very small <laughs> example. Um, so just imagine this is really long. So it's going to be all the way up here and then you're going to have your handle and that's going to be 150 centimeters. So first of all measure that for me. 150 so don't cut it or anything what we're gonna do is just bend it over like this so I know you can't tell it's really hard to show on video but this here is 150 centimeters so this is going to be the entire length of our lead including the loop of the handle and what we're going to do is we're going to attach it to our clasp with a lark's head knot and what I want you to remember keep this longer section on the outside and the shorter section on the inside okay so just thread it through like so and you'll have a loop here and then what you want to do is just thread those two sections through that loop like this so obviously that was your 150 centimeter one this one's gonna take a lot longer to get through and then pull that nice and tight so we're gonna keep it on this side and we've got the shorter one here and the longer one here and we're gonna do the exact same on this side with the other piece but we're going to have the shorter one on the inside and the longer one on the outside okay so i've done the same on this side i've measured 150 centimeters and then folded that here so we've got the shorter side and the longer side so we're going to thread this through here and create another lark's head knot and pull through and again got a lot of material on one of the sides and then pull that nice and tight so we've got two lark's head knots two shorter pieces and two outside longer pieces okay so in your kit I've also given you an S hook that you can either hook onto a clothes rail or onto the back of the door or onto anything you can hook onto and then you can clip your lead here onto the S hook and some people find it easier to do it like that. I actually do find it easier to do it like that but obviously I'm gonna start off by showing you how to do it here because it's easier for you to see here. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of sellotape just to secure it. Obviously you can do it like this as well if you don't want to use the S hook. So 
I am going to be demonstrating a straight lead. You can also do a spiral lead. It's using the exact same materials, the length and everything's the same. You're just going to do a slightly different knot. I will show you how to do that. Um, but I am going to be doing a straight lead today, but I will show you in a bit how you can do the spiral one if you prefer the spiral or you can like mix and match. You can do straight, spiral, straight, spiral like that. So what you're going to do to start, we're going to do a square knot. So to do that, you're going to take this left hand piece and across it over so it's a figure four shape and then you're going to take the right hand piece pass that over the top of your left hand piece and then you've created a little section over here a little loop over here you're going to take your right hand piece pass it underneath the two middle pieces and through this loop here now it will take you a while to pull through because it's obviously a lot of material so once that's threaded through you're going to tighten it and you do want to make your lead quite tight so that it doesn't stretch so nice and tight like that and then we're going to do the same thing but on the opposite side so take your right hand piece do it in an opposite figure four take your left hand piece over the top and then under the two middle pieces and through this loop and again pull through like so and pull nice and tightly like that so you've got a square knot up here so you're going to continue doing that I will say it does make it slightly easier if you collect all your long piece together so sort of dump it here and then again do it with the other side pop it here so that you don't have to deal with pulling it through and it all getting caught. What you can do is just, I mean, don't let this bit confuse you here. Let me pop that down there so it doesn't confuse you. So again, the figure four, this side going over and then this side is going under. So I'm gonna take all of that and just pull it under like that and then just pop it up there. Does that make sense? And then again, this side. So we're just swapping sides over, under, through the loop. This side, over, under. Now, like I was saying before, if you wanted to do a swirly lead, or if you wanted to do a little bit of straight, a little bit of swirl, a little bit of straight, a little bit of swirl, then it's a slightly different knot. It's very similar, but it's a spiral knot. And you're gonna do it from the same side every single time. So, so I'm gonna do the one opposite the loop. I'm just going to show you a couple 
but then I'm gonna make mine all straight anyway, so. You'll see pretty much straight away, do you see? And then again, same side. So if you're doing spiral, same side. So that doesn't really make sense because straight is also an S. So a spiral is pretty fun. I just do love the look of a straight one too. So you can see, as I'm doing it, it's starting to spiral. And if you continue doing that, it would just so you can experiment with both. I'm gonna unpick these just cause like I say, I want to do a fully straight one. Okay, so I've just continued to do my square knots all the way down like this and I have just measured and you want to stop doing your square knots at about 95 centimeters so I've still got lots of excess over here which we're going to use to make the handle so at this point, if you want, I have included a D-ring here. At this point, you can add the D-ring and this is so you can add accessories. You could do a little tassel or people clip on um, doggy like poo bag holders or something. Or you can even use it to clip the end of your lead like this so you can hook it on to whatever so to attach your d-ring all you're going to do is take your middle two sections and thread them through this d-ring here like so and then you're gonna continue your square knot maybe maybe do like two or something so I'm just gonna place something heavy there so it stays again you can like tape it or whatever so square knot As you tighten it, just hold your D-ring into place. Easier said than done, clearly. Like so. And then I'm gonna do another one. Yeah, I'll do two full square knots just so that D ring is nice and secure. Okay, so now we have to think about our handle and obviously what we're gonna have to do is wrap like this and then we're gonna have to secure this end to this bit so in order to do that what I'm going to do is take this little like a buckle clip I'm not sure the technical term for it 
but I like to use these just because they give a little bit of extra um, protection. They give a little extra stability to the lead and if you've got like quite a pulley dog, it just helps with any unraveling or anything. So it keeps your handle more secure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread all four pieces through. So if you can see this side, you can it like hooks over. So make sure you put it on the side where it's not hooked so it's completely smooth. And you go into get all four pieces of cord and just oh, thread them through. Like that and then you're gonna go over the top of the bar and push them through the other side make sure you don't go over your square not like mine was trying to do then so then push them through here pull out the other end like so oh I've got one little one missing two longer pieces okay so then you've got your buckle here and we don't really have to deal with this anymore for the time being we'll be dealing with that in a little while but you still want to measure a section that you're not going to knot because we're going to knot when we go back on ourselves to secure it together It'll all make sense when we do it. So what we're gonna do is measure probably about eight-ish centimeters. And we're gonna start square knotting again from here. So to make it easier to remember where the eight was, oh, I'm going to push this down to there and I'm going to begin square knotting again from there. And you want to square knot for approximately 30 centimetres, um, depending on how big your hands are I guess but for most of the leads that I make I do the handle 30 centimeters so just keep square knotting and then when you think you're getting to 30 centimeters you can just check okie dokie so I have if you can see I have continued doing my square knot and I've just had a little measure. I'll show you. Let's see, so. About 30, oh, looks like 31 centimeters. So approximately 30 centimeters. And it's gonna be my handle. So I can fit my wrist through it, I can hold it like this. If you've got bigger hands, you could do a couple more so it's bigger, if you prefer it bigger. If you prefer it smaller, then do it smaller. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how I like mine. I'm just gonna place something heavy there. So now what we're gonna do is secure our handle so i'm just gonna fold it over until the two ends meet like this i am going to push my buckle clip up here and then i'm gonna thread all four pieces through this buckle clip okay so we've got all four through and then we're gonna do that again <laughs> 
so push the bar down so you've got plenty of space and you're gonna thread these through here okay so then we've got our buckle here like this I'm gonna flip the whole lead over and then let's stick my little tape back on there so it's nice and sturdy. Flip my D-ring down and I'm going to continue to do square knots all the way down to here. Okay, so to finish the lead and secure it, what we need to do is make sure all these end pieces don't unravel. So to do that, what we're gonna do is just hold them all together and cut them about one knot away from the metal buckle, like that. Then you're gonna take some excess from your lead or I gave you a lot of material anyway, so you probably had excess after you measured your nine meters. So you're gonna take that and we're gonna do what's called a gather knot. I'm gonna turn my lead this way so it's easier for you to see and what we're going to do is take the macrame and just fold it over like this. So here's the end, just fold it over and hold it against your lead and hold all those little tiny pieces together, nice and tight. And then take the long bit and begin wrapping it. So right from the base of the buckle, I'm gonna start wrapping it and you wanna do this tight as you can to keep it secure but also because it looks nicer the tighter it is the neater it is so really nice and tight I'm putting a lot of tension into this and then as you start getting to those little bits just tuck them in What you're gonna do at this point is thread that piece through the loop you created earlier that we've been wrapping around. So just thread it through. And then you can actually, you could have cut it before you threaded it, I guess. Just cut it, because you don't need all of that. Get rid of that, get rid of my scissors. Then you wanna keep holding this tight and you want to start pulling on this other end. This is gonna be a gather knot. So it sometimes takes a while for it to... And you can see here that that's gonna take, that loop is gonna take this end underneath where we've been wrapping it around. So pull, sort of like squish it a little bit. And so yeah, this is really, really tight. You really wanna make sure you do that tightly. And I have given you a lot of cord in your kit, depending on how long you've made your lead and how long you've made your handle. So if you don't get it tight enough the first time, you can always use more. So then take your scissors again and as close as you can without, like I say, without cutting any of the other bits of macrame. That's why a good pair of scissors is imperative. These Fiskars ones are really good. And then to 
you can see the end there. And then I like to just, either with my finger or just with the end of my scissors whilst they're closed, just sort of stuff it in a little bit. And yeah, so that is our finished dog leaf.